Yo, God is good, 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 God is good. Type all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time in the comments. God is good. Type, what's up, Neil? How you doing, my boy? Yo, God is good. Type all the time in the comments. What's popping, everybody? Where are you guys tuning in from? What is good? Shalom, shalom. God is good. Type all the time in the comments. Where are you tuning in from? You. Where you tuning in from, fam? God is good. God is good. The Bible is authentic. Jesus Christ is true. Every promise from the Bible is genuine. The enemy of mankind is a loser. And God gave us a victory over the enemy. Where are you guys tuning in from? Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. What's up, Khalifas? How you doing, California? How you doing? God is good. I'm over here just waiting for some Colombian beef stew. It sounds so amazing right now. I got my baby girl with me we over here just tapping in just growing our relationship it's been a beautiful time we already started working on some music what's good virginia shalom we already started working on some music for the lord what's up olympia and uh la what's good la what's up kentucky slide some fried chicken this way i'm gonna need that wait for this colombian beef stew it sounds so good but yeah, God is good. Yo, me and my baby girl um, have been uh, just um, investing into our relationship. What's up, Atlanta? What's up, Dallas, Texas? What's up? Man, it's beautiful to see you people of God. What's up? What's up? What's up? Is that, are you saying hi or is that you saying Hawaii? Because I think H-I is the abbreviation for Hawaii. What's up, Manitoba? Where is that? What in the freaking world is that? Anyways, the Lord is glorious. Jesus Christ is king wherever you're at, no matter how you're feeling. Yo, what's up, Brunswick, Canada? Yo, thank you for calling me your brother in Christ, kingdom. Appreciate you. Yo, no matter where you're at, yo, I just want everybody, wherever you're at, just say God is good out loud, wherever you're watching, because there is power of life and death in your tongue. No matter what the situation that the Lord has you in today, no matter what circumstance that the Lord has you in today, the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. Yo, what's up, Sugar Bear Trejo? What's poppin', brother? Um, what do you think about the revivals happening? Well, we heard about it at church, right, babe? We heard about the revivals and that. Yeah. See, they sounds pretty cool. I don't know too much about it. I guess some school started praising God. What's up, Perth, Australia? How's it going down under? Um, but yeah, we heard about the... It was encouraging, to be honest. When I heard about it at the time, I was like, whoa. At Sunday uh, service... We heard people talking about some revivals happening. I guess 100 people were at a school, a small school, praising God. And they just felt like, oh, uh, you know, keep on praising God like with song and, and with, with, with praises. And they kept going, kept going, just, just praising God, praising God, praising God, praising God. And I guess it just kind of like took off. Like they just kept praising and kept praising and kept praising. And more and more people started joining. And it's been like a 24-hour a day type of thing. People are just praising God constantly, nonstop. It's cool. I think it's dope. I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. Um, to be honest, uh, it's like uh, people are talking about revivals are breaking out and God is doing stuff around the world. I know God is doing something amazing between me and my beautiful girl. Can I can I can I say your fiance, baby, even though we haven't officially proposed? Am I able to say fiance? I don't know. She said, yeah, I can say fiance, even though I haven't officially proposed like that. We just know what we want as far as our relationship goes. We want marriage you know so shout out to all you married couples watching i appreciate you guys more than maybe i can say uh, i think marriage is sanity i think marriage is sanity healthy marriage is sanity christian marriage is sanity it's beauty one of the most beautiful things on this earth to see a man and a woman who are faithful to each other who love god it's just so it's just so valuable it's just deeply 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 you know entrenched in the human soul married right here what's up my brother bless your marriage bro bless your marriage in jesus mighty name um gotta make that proposal amen y'all been married 28 years that's fire glory to god getting married in three months hey congrats that's fire bro rick praise god see i, I love that you guys are, are, are married couples looking for marriage um relationships can be crazy life can just be a lot there's so many aspects and details to this thing we call reality this thing we call life um is a lot it is a lot so i just wanted to tap in with you guys and just, just encourage you guys that god is real that god is awesome that god has a plan for your life been married almost six years okay that's awesome praise god that's that's beautiful 
Um, yeah, God is good. We're over here beginning to work on some music, um, some new music. I don't know if you guys saw Eye of the Storm. Who? How many of you guys saw Eye of the Storm, the music video, or heard the song on Spotify or, or Apple Music? That was a blessing to see God do that. And uh, we just feel like God wants us to keep creating more music. Um, we just want to serve the Lord. I know I'm going to serve the Lord to the ends of the earth, you know, to the day that my life is gone. I already recognize that. I already know that. Yo, my man, what's good, real still? How you doing? I just know that um, I'm, I've already made a deep commitment. The family is God's battle, small battle formation. Oh, uh, that's dope. I like that. Favorite worship song. Uh like that face music. Uh favorite worship song. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um my favorite worship song, huh? I don't know. I guess I'll say maybe Battle Belongs. That's a song that's special to me and my This battle belongs to you. Amen. 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 It's a song that's special to me and my my woman. Um God is good. Soldier of God, thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for the affirmation. Have not seen since you got in an accident. You've not seen. Can you update us on what happened and how you're doing now? Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I'd love to. I'd love to share. Um, Yeah, so I got hit by a truck last month. Um, I was going on a walk in the morning. I, somehow I was going on a walk that I, I never go that way. I was on the phone with my girlfriend, Stephanie, to Jada and... I guess I was crossing in a certain place um, and a truck hit me. Ne I don't remember that. All I remember is buying a coffee and then waking up in the hospital and people telling me, hey, you were hit by a truck. And I'm like, what? I was hit by a car, though, like a truck. And they kept telling me this happened last month. So I was hit by a truck and I was like, whoa. They were like, yeah, you got broken ribs. You had a concussion. You got five staples in your head. You're lucky to be alive, man. And then... Um, yeah, since then, I've been rehabilitating. To be honest, my mind and my body are still not back where they need to be. Um, I feel like my energy is not what it always is. It's not horrible, but I feel like Josephus Golden Street. What's up with you, my bro? <laughs> Tuning in from the other room. What's up, dog? That's how you know God is moving in your life. If your brother in Christ, your roommate is tuning in. What's up, Golden Street Ministries? Shout out Josephus. I love you, my guy. Um, he's been on a move lately, been just letting God just flow in his life and just grabbing God's, uh, I guess, mantle and running with it. My bro, Mercy. What's up, boy? Long time no see. Uh, what's up, my dog? God is good. I hope you're still ducking those mermaids out there, bro. Um, but yeah, God is beautiful. God is glorious. I guess God kept me alive and God just began to uh, just... Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess just heal me. I've been off of work now for a month. I go for my update. <laughs> I go for my update tomorrow. I might have to take another month off, um, which would be nice. I'd be able to, you know, invest some more time in, in my relationship with my woman, which I want to do, if I can be so honest. Um, also be able to work on some more of this. Uh, I've known you for a long time. Your message about God is amazing. I found myself being blessed. Praise the Lord. That's all why I'm here. That's the reason why I'm here. That's my highest purpose in life is to is to just serve Jesus. I, I know God is real. I know Jesus It's humbling. It's humbling because you can be like, um, oh, my God. I also got hit by a car while I was walking. Thank God it was a Corvette. So I only broke my neck. Oof. So it broke your neck. Jeez, you could have it. You could be paralyzed right now. Yeah. So, man, God is good. But, um. Yeah, just getting some rest and recovery, I guess you could say. Um, I'm normally somebody who's like on the go, 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 to you can't go no more. And um, so I'm over here just kind of chilling. But I, some some parts of me are like, oh, I want to get back doing what I, I tried to run. And it was like my, my 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 back and stuff was hurting. My ribs were hurting. Even you know, my leg was hurting. But you know, I just know God is in control and God is good. So I just want to remind you guys to keep speaking life keep speaking faith because god inhabits the praises of his people no matter where you're at no matter what you're facing jesus christ is king and it can be hard to serve god it can be scary my bro pastor isaac was telling me when you're walking into deeper waters it can be scary and the devil comes to steal and get kill and destroy 
you know, the devil wants to take your peace. He wants to take your confidence in the Lord. He wants to take you and your purpose away. But, hey, I'm going to fight till the day I'm dead. I, the devil might hit me one. I might go to the left. But, you know, I'm always going to pop back up. The Bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. And that the righteous man falls seven times, rises eight. So, you know, the devil might chin check me or hit me. But, you know what? I'm always going to come on top of the enemy. I'm always going to trample on snakes and scorpions. Always, always, always to the day that I die. You know, because God destined that for my life. And that's the same thing for everybody that's in Christ. You know, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you know, God will lift up a standard against them. That's what the word of the Lord says. So I speak that to you no matter what. It's trying to come against you. By God says he's going to raise up a standard against that. He's going to raise up a standard against that. He's going to raise up a standard for you that is above that. You know, to so keep praying, keep speaking life. Keep speaking the word. Keep meditating the word. Keep following God's specific path and plan for your life. We're all here as a part of God's beautiful story. We're all here as a part of God's beautiful um, masterpiece. And we're, we're just here to worship God. We're here to worship God. And, and those of us who are willingly on purpose saying, yes, God, have your way in our life. You know that um, I think there's a specific blessing in that. But I mean, even even then. If we're saying yes to God, it's only by the grace of God that we're saying yes. It's not because we're so deeply spiritual or we're so mature or we're so self-controlled. We have so much this or so much that. No, any good thing in your life is by the grace of God. The fact that you have breath in your lungs, blood in your veins, come on moisture on your eyes is because the Lord is holy. It's because the Lord is good. Any good thing that you have or I have is because the God of the Bible has blessed you with that because of his specific path and plan for your life. So I think that, um, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Alejandro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, my brother. Um, um, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Yes, whatever the enemy meant for evil, God used for good. I think my phone is gonna die. So um, I guess we're gonna get to cooking here in a few. But yeah, be on the lookout for more music. It's coming soon in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Y'all be blessed. Uh -huh.